Thanks for tuning in today to HealthyKidneyInc.com and our channel on YouTube. Today we're going to talk about the thyroid gland. Thyroid gland makes a thyroid hormone called TSH. That's the abbreviation for thyroid stimulating hormone. And that's a little butterfly shaped gland in the area of your lower neck. And this uh, piece of research comes from March 11th in Nephrology News and it was uh, published or they gone over that research at the dialysis, excuse me, annual dialysis conference. Uh, in 2021 and what they were showing was that with this piece of research they looked at people with kidney disease and their thyroid levels TSH and you could develop hypothyroidism meaning you're not making enough of those thyroid hormones when you have kidney disease and it's estimated to be between 3 and 25 percent of people that develop kidney disease um, will get hypothyroidism, a low thyroid function. And the thyroid does a lot of things and it regulates a lot of body processes, regulates energy production. And so it's very important to have this in balance. Now, this research was just showing that as you lost more kidney function, your thyroid got more out of balance. And other research has possibly shown that when your thyroid becomes worse, it can accelerate the loss of kidney function. But that is still debatable. But the point of this piece of research and for everyone tuning into this video is that you should have your thyroid tested. Okay, I see a lot of people and oftentimes they have very high thyroid levels uh, because they're either not getting addressed or not getting tested. Now, what you, you would look for is the TSH test. Okay, that's what you would tell your doctor or go see your primary. Um, the nephrologist might not run it. You might need to see your primary doctor order it on your own online. You can do that now. You can order all types of labs on your own online. Or you go to an endocrinologist, which is a specialist in hormones. And you want to get that TSH tested. And if it's anywhere in the higher range, usually that top range is 4.5. So anything above that's considered hypothyroidism. But if you're still in like the fours, even high threes, a lot of, a lot of people, a lot of recommendations and a lot of literature says uh, lowering that with either a prescription or a natural product uh, it will allow you to function better, to not have symptoms, and just to be well and be better overall. And if you have kidney disease, you know, there's possibly, it hasn't really been shown 100%, but it's definitely possible that the worsening thyroid function worsenings, well, worsens the kidney function. So the takeaway of this video, everybody, is to get that TSH tested if you have kidney disease. And I can tell you that I have hypothyroidism. I had it for a long time when, when my kidney disease first popped up. And so I've been on a hormone replacement for years now to control my thyroid. And at one point, I forgot it for about about 10 days. And I just happened to be getting blood work on that time. And I just wasn't feeling well. I kept blaming it on not sleeping enough or maybe it's stress. But it was really my thyroid got really, really out of whack, which then just made me feel not well. And once I started back on my medication, I was fine. Um, I use Armour, the more natural uh, medication. But that's up to you and your doctor and whatever you decide is best. That's what I started with years ago and it's done well for me, so I keep using that. But check out our other videos, get that TSH tested into your best kidney health, everybody. Bye.